Hey guys, it's me, Beauty Glamour here. So in today's video, I am going to be giving you guys some tips on what I think is important before you guys go out and buy a makeup organizer. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get this video. So I did want to make this video so you guys could learn from my mistakes. When I was trying to figure out a makeup organizer situation, I didn't pretty much a lot of the tips I'm giving you guys, I did not do. I will fully admit that. So it was kind of a costly process for me of trying to figure out the right organizer to fit my needs. Finally though, I have figured that out, which I'm happy about, but it took me a while. So that you guys find this video beneficial and you guys are able to learn from my mistakes. Now let's get into this video. So my first tip would be to figure out how much makeup you guys have. Um, for me it was actually really simple because I didn't have that much makeup. I had like a few eyeshadow singles and a few of this, a few of that, so it was a pretty small collection, but obviously my collection has grown since then. So if you guys have a big collection, well figure out how much makeup do you guys have, how many lip products, how many eye products do you have, how, how many of these products do you have, literally count how many lip products you have, and I mean lip glosses, lipsticks, chapsticks, you know, lip tints, you know, fill out, and then just simply write it down either um, on a piece of paper or on your phone, just write down how much you have all together and don't be like upset if it's like so much makeup don't need like you have to throw out any of your makeup you don't it's all about figuring it's all about finding an organizer that is going to fit your needs so don't get so upset if you um you know have a lot of makeup don't worry it's okay so once you've figured out how much makeup you have then you can move on to step two, which is to simply figure out what you need your organizer to hold. What do you want your makeup organizer to hold? Do you need it to hold your growing makeup collection plus your nail polish collection? Maybe you want it to hold some hair accessories, a hairbrush, maybe your face product. Figure out what you need out of your makeup organizer. Is it just simply for makeup or is it going to be for other products as well. For me, I want my makeup organizer to hold my makeup and my blush. So yeah, unfortunately my makeup organizer that I have right now from Amazon does not hold my nail polishes because they are too big and bulky for the um, drawers. So if that's okay, you know, and that's another thing I want to say is don't get upset if your makeup organizer cannot hold everything to hold. That's okay. You know, for me, I'm just simply figuring out another nail polish solution for my nail polish collection. You know, don't worry. It's okay if it can't hold everything you want it to hold. Okay, now moving on to step three. So once you've figured out how much makeup you have, what you want your makeup organizer to hold, now let's figure out the budget. How much money do you have on a makeup organizer? Now the one thing I would say is be realistic about this. You know, be realistic about how much money do you actually have to spend on it? Can you put away, like, put $20 into it, 25 50 30 however much it is? Be, definitely be realistic about the number that you um, are able to towards your makeup organizer. So let's now moving on to step four. Now once we've figured out the budget, then figure out how big organizer do you need. You know, obviously now I have a lot. I'm into eyeshadow palettes, which I wasn't really into before, but I have a lot of big, I, I've got a big eyeshadow palette that you guys have seen from um, Perfusion cosmetics that cannot fit in my um, Amazon organizer but it can fit on top of the organizer so yeah you know figure out what is the dimensions that this makeup organizer needs to be what are the dimensions 
Now, once you've figured out your dimensions for the makeup organizer and how big it needs to be, now kind of comes the fun part. And I believe this is step five. The fun part is browse, the, browse YouTube, browse Pinterest, um, Amazon, you know, go into stores and actually see what makeup organizers do they have? Do they have anything? When you see it, you're like, oh my gosh, I want that. You know, you kind of want that, like, oh my gosh, I want you. Um, because that means you found the one. The one makeup organizer for each is great. So, <coughs> so yeah, and once you've, you know, kind of like browsed around, then I would just maybe come home and kind of like narrow it down to, because you don't want to have like too many ones that you're like, oh my gosh, this is the one. You know, because you don't want to be like buying 30 makeup organizers. <laughs> and that's a little obsessive for me, but hey. You know, so yeah, definitely narrow it down to what one you think will best fit your need. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Bye.